I love my Steam Deck, but I've spent so much time with it, I felt it necessary to make some vital upgrades to improve my quality of life with the device, to the point where I recommend these kinds of upgrades to everybody that I talk to about the Steam Deck. So let's just jump right into this, with the 5 upgrades that I think that are the most important and everybody should be doing, starting with an SSD. SSD upgrades are fairly easy with the Steam Deck, you just remove the 6 screws on the back and pop the back plate off with a spudger and then boom you're inside the Steam Deck. All you gotta do is remove now a little heat shield and with a couple screws and boom you can replace the SSD. For me I saved a bunch of money by going with the 64 gigabyte model. Doing so allowed me to save a lot of money and spend it on games or on a larger SSD that I'd be otherwise able to afford. Personally, I have a SK Hynix 256GB SSD, which I had purchased from Amazon, renewed, probably pulled from some laptop for $6. I don't recommend anybody buy a used SSD, but for me, I kind of didn't really care about it, so I was like, screw it, let's give this a shot, and it's been working out great for me. So I don't recommend buying a used SSD, but sometimes it could work out really well like it did for me. Something to bear in mind with the SSD upgrade on the Steam Deck is that it uses a 2230 sized SSD, a smaller size of SSD than typically seen on PCs and even consoles nowadays. So it is a little bit more annoying to find, they do tend to be more expensive due to their smaller size, but at least you can replace it with something you like more. And alternatively, if you already had a Steam Deck with a decent enough storage for yourself, you can always just upgrade the SD card. For me, I have a one terabyte micro SD card I keep in my Steam Deck, which I find incredibly convenient. This next product is also purely for the convenience. I have a lot of products I carry around with me. My phone, my AirPods, my tablet, my laptop, my Steam Deck, and any other handle that I'm testing at the moment and I need to charge them all at once constantly because I'm constantly using all of them or just topping them all up is just generally really convenient. And they didn't sponsor the video or anything, but I have been using their multi-ixel charger. I used the eight port. They also sent me the six port, which are just really big chargers. The eight port has 240 watts of power output split between so many ports, allowing me to have maximum charging for all my devices I could possibly need at once. And you don't need to go this extreme, but like a three port or even a six port charger would do you just fine. And that's just the limitations with the Steam Deck charger, which it's designed specifically for the Steam Deck, so I wouldn't expect it to have multiple ports. But just being able to not have to carry just one charger around for the Steam Deck is really convenient to have it all comprised in one charger. Even though the Steam Deck only offers 45 watt charging, even with this charger, it charges considerably faster through the 100 watt port. And like I said, Multi-Ixel did provide these chargers to me free of charge, but I also didn't sign anything saying I had to like them, but I just genuinely do. So now whenever I travel, I just take this charger and any of the sort of cables I might need for any number of the devices I might need, and then I'm all ready to go. This next one isn't necessarily out of any convenience. This is personal preference. I love the Steam Deck's ergonomics. It lasts great. I can fit it in my hands for quite a while. It's pretty good. But after a long gaming session, you start getting that gamer hand sweat. Where after you've been playing a long time, you're getting antsy or you're dying or in the middle of a match and you're just stressing out. I like having these silicone grips from JSOC on my Steam Deck. It just adds an extra layer of grippiness for me. So it feels more solid in my hands and not like it's about to slip out of my hands. My JSOC grips also came with stick caps, so I also really like those. I highly recommend you get either the grip or the thumbstick caps alone. They're truly super convenient and it just adds an extra level of grippiness so I'm not slipping and sliding off the Steam Deck. After a long time using the device, just like the Switch, the grips have gotten kind of smooth due to just the corrosive nature of my hands apparently. This next thing is also for the convenience. I love playing my Steam Deck for a very long time. I love playing it in the car, travel, just at home, in other places, and not always accessible to a charger or have an outlet nearby. So I love to have a battery bank with me. This particular battery bank is some Dell battery bank that I've had for quite some time now. And it does the job. It gets the Steam Deck to about from 0 to 80% in like an hour or two. So not the worst battery bank. Definitely showing its age and I've been planning to upgrade for a while. 
but they're just so expensive sometimes and especially for capacity that's powerful enough to charge one of these gaming handhelds they're kind of expensive and it's a problem that you shouldn't really have for these handhelds but especially when you're running windows on steam deck you can notice worse battery life so having a battery bank around certainly helps extend your play sessions and for me it's one of my most important accessories for my steam deck and if you have one of those chargers with an ac port you can even continue to use the multi xl charger on that so you can have more ports or even have better charging through it if you have multiple devices that can utilize higher wattages than what could be available on one of those larger chargers another essential accessory for me at least for my steam deck is a dock. I love having a dock, especially if I'm traveling, or even if I just want a second desk set up around my house, it, having a dock is so convenient. And over these last few months of my YouTube channel, I have been sent a few docks over the months, and they've all been pretty good. My favorite budget dock is the Sabrent dock. It's pretty good, doesn't have a lot of port variation, doesn't have an ethernet port, which can be disappointing for some people, but overall for like 20 bucks, it's kind of hard to go wrong. Another good budget dock that I haven't had a chance to spend a lot of time with is the JSOC dock. Also fairly cheap, offers a decent port selection, and what can you say, it's a good dock. But my personal favorite Steam Deck dock is the Ivanki dock. You might remember this video, I talked about it a long time ago now. It's a great dock, it's made out of aluminum, has an ethernet port, fabric cable, it's phenomenal. And I use it all the time. I lent it to my brother for a while. Turns out the dock works on an iPad mini. So if you wanted to dock more than just a Steam Deck, it would work, but I wouldn't expect it to if on everything. So bear that in mind if you intend on using this with other devices. I also have a slim dock, but it's just a USB-C hub that was designed for a laptop that just happens to work on Steam Deck. So I just use that when I'm traveling for my laptop and the Steam Deck. It hasn't come up but a few times, but it is nice to have in case, you know, somebody needs it or if I have the urge to play games on a TV rather than just on the Steam Deck. Since you made it this far, I'll give you a bonus accessory that I don't really think is all that necessary, but it's something that I genuinely use, is a screen protector. I have dropped my Steam Deck quite a few times, and I've been so happy to have a screen protector on it. I use a JSOC tempered glass screen protector. It's great. It does interfere with touch sensitivity sometimes. I can't tell if it's just because of how shitty Windows is with touch sometimes, or if the display is just genuinely touch receptors aren't good enough to reach through the screen protector. But, eh, what do I know? So that's the video. What do you guys think? Are you interested in any of these upgrades? Have you done any of these upgrades to your Steam Deck? I would love to hear what you guys think about this down below. And if you watch this video, why not watch one of my other videos talking about the Steam Deck accessories? I did one not too long ago about all these docks and more in-depth review of them. And last but not least, do not forget to like and subscribe. All the other social media garbage down below. And last but not least, have a wonderful day.